Hello, and welcome to Wall Street Trainings, module on corporate valuation methodologies. My name is Hamilton Lin, president and founder of Wall Street Training, and I have a background in investment banking and mergers and acquisitions, having worked at Goldman Sachs' Investment Banking Research, Bank of America Securities' Mergers and Acquisitions Group, and several other boutique investment banks, all focused on mergers and acquisitions. Please note that these materials are copyrighted and may not be disseminated or reproduced without express written approval from What's Wall Street Training. You want to make sure that you understand how to go up and down what we call the capital structure. You calculated total enterprise value initially. Remember, you want to then minus net debt and other forms of capital. That gets you to your implied equity value, to which you would then divide by your shares outstanding to get your price per share. Now, we also know that if you started with your price per share, you multiply by your shares outstanding, get you equity value. Add net debt, get you total enterprise value. That's the calculation we will do to get our benchmark firm. We will have to estimate based on the current market what the price is, what the shares outstanding is, add net debt, get to total enterprise value. But then when we actually calculate the value of our hypothetical firm or our target firm, we always calculate total enterprise value on top go down the capital structure all the way down to isolate stock price per share. We will see a pretty good example of this shortly. That's one major comment, major point you must make sure you keep in mind, that you are able to fluidly move up and down the capital structure via the total enterprise value, value concept and formula. You must be able to go up and down the capital structure.